So in the meantime of us deciding which video or which question to answer next, we found a survey on here and we figured we'd do one. So uh, yellow, when you get older, where would you want to live? I would definitely want to live in Canada, just cause. Um, I would probably live in Spain, most likely Seville. Um, orange, where do you want to be right now? Oh, oh, sorry. I want to be in a cold pool and swim. Swimming would be nice. Or on a waterbed. That would be cool. <laughs> waterbed. Um, oh, uh, Lilac, what is your dream vacation? I don't... Going to, like, a town, like, in Italy or, like, in France. I think that'd be pretty nice. And just go on, like, a nice, nice cruise, I think. Touring with the Jonas Brothers. Oh. Yay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but really. Um, Beige, what is your favorite dream? Ooh la la. Let me think on this. I don't think I have one. I had a few nice lucid dreams before. Those were pretty cool. Um, oh, uh, White, who was your first kiss? <laughs> a guy named Jason. Dustin Mullins. <laughs> oh no. Um, who was your last kiss? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh so hard I can't. I don't even remember. No, I do. Um, it was a friend brother. I'm just gonna say that, I'm not saying his name. Um, an asshole. No, you have to say the name because I didn't say my name. Well, I just called him an asshole, so now I can't. <laughs> so everyone knows who he is. Okay, um, Tangerine. Give a description of who you like. Well, she's basically a total babe. She's sitting to my left. <laughs> Ooh, flatter me more. <laughs> um... Not there. That's my description. Okay. Yeah. Alright, share a relationship story. Okay, so I used to have this boyfriend, <laughs> and he would call me every night and then, like, fall asleep on the phone with me or whatever. And as soon as he'd think that I fell asleep, he would put me on hold and talk to other girls. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Can I just not? <laughs> um, share one. Relationship story. I was once in a two year relationship and then the guy ended up cheating on me. Gay. So, uh, was he gay? Was it a dude? No. <laughs> it was a really pretty person. Uh, green. Share a family story. So, I got this, I got this, hold on. I got the opening. So there was once these three friends that knew each other since they were 16 or 15. One of those, and then uh, the two got married. My parents got married, which were the other three. And then 25 years later, the two separated, and then the third got with my dad. Oh no! How messed up, dude. Teenage life. <laughs> is that your family story? Uh, my family story is one time. I disappointed my parents, and then they got mad at me, and they told me not to dye my hair. Story? Not really. That's my family story right there. Um, gold. Share a story that makes you smile. Hmm. One time, I was in church, and I was sitting by Caroline Davis. <laughs> and you know how, like, whenever they start playing the hymns, like, part of the way through the introduction or whatever, you stand up? Mm -hmm. We stood up, like, a whole minute before anybody else did. <laughs> we didn't notice that we were, like, talking, standing up. <laughs> it was so bad. It was in, like, ninth grade. It was so embarrassing. Let me see. The story that makes me smile. There was this one time where 
I was riding my bus and there was the senior guy, uh, Craig Patrick. And Dude. no, he had to pee so bad. And our bus driver, like, was the bus driver, like, didn't care. He let us, like, paint on the bus and all that. And Craig's like, Stuart, stop the bus. And Stuart's like, no, pee in a bottle. So Craig found a Powerade bottle and peed in it in the back of the bus. And then the girl Sky was like, I'm thirsty. So he, like, handed her the bottle and she, like, grabbed it and looked and she was like, ah, and, like, threw it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so insane. Sorry, crack up. Um, Black, share something you did embarrassingly. Uh, I don't. Every second since I lost my virginity. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. No, you won't. I don't know. Something I did embarrassingly on my first, like my first day of fucking high school, I was like walking. And I trip like on a step, you know those the stairs of freshman academy. And like my foot went towards the railing and you know how like your ankle will roll? My foot did down the stairs and I was like the end of the day and I just like slid down. I was like Ugh. That's awful. Okay, um are you still friends with the people you met in elementary school? Tone and Nolan. Um Tone and Nolan. No. <laughs> Um, I don't really know anyone that I knew in elementary school. Like, I still know Alicia. I'm still friends with Alicia. Um, but not really anybody else, I don't think. Um, my friend? No. Wait. Yes. Her name's Alexis. But we don't talk, like, every day. It's just, like, if we see each other, we'll be, like, we're, like, acquaintances. Everyone else became stupid. Um... Yeah. Magenta. Magenta. What is something you barely tell anyone? Um, before one of these videos, I never told anyone that I could play piano. So, that's one thing. Something I barely tell anyone. Um, every time I've been anywhere with Kate in the last few days, I bought a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I told anyone that, but I think it's funny. Um, good. What are your hobbies? I like Omegle. I like to sit. I like to, uh, take long walks on the beach and... No, I like to hang out with Casey because she's kind of in my life. And listen to metalcore and... Oh, man. That's kind of all I do. My head thing. Um, Violet, what co what college do you plan to attend? I am going to USC in the fall. Ooh, I just plan on going to a culinary school. Would you rather have a relationship or a friend with benefits? Ooh. Shit, man. I would rather have a relationship, because, like, I'd rather have someone there that, like, I could trust all the time and not have to worry about, like, Someone being shady and whatnot. I like trust. I don't have a friend with benefits, so I don't really trust anybody. Oh. Well, okay. Peach. Who is your favorite teacher so far? Um, my digital imaging teacher or TV production teacher, Mr. Hyman. He's awesome. Mr. Dixon. Ew. Um, what is the meaning behind your U R L girl? What? What is the meaning behind your No, URL? what did you just say? As a girl. Oh. Um the meaning behind my URL. The only one on Fascination Street, it's a title of a song by the Smiths. Or half of the title, you know. Um Death on What's the Smith. Hold on. Okay. I'm totally You can keep talking. Death on the Sheets is, um, it's lyrics in the song Death it was Bed the, by... It was The Cure. My bad. I have a Smith song stuck in my head. It was The Cure. Okay. Sorry. Um, and a Reliant K song, Death Bed. Yeah. And that is the end of the survey.
I that probably was not interesting at all. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's ten minutes long. Oh my god. 